Open Heavens on the Go, Monday, July 26, 2021. Topic, Prayer, Praise, and Worship. Memory Verse, 1 Thessalonians 5.17. Pray without ceasing. 1 Thessalonians 5.17. Bible Reading, Acts 16, 25-34. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prisons were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bands were loosed. And the keeper of the prison, awaking out of his sleep, and seeing the prison doors open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had been fled. But Paul cried with a loud voice, saying, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas and brought them out and said, Sirs, what, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. And they spake unto him the word of the Lord, and to all that were in his house. And it took them the same hour of the night, and washed their stripes, and was baptized, he and all his, straight away. And when he had brought them into his house, he set meat before them and rejoiced, believing in God with all his house. The Message God's desire for all his children is greatness. He wishes that they prosper, be in health, even as their soul prospers. Third John 2 However, a study of the Word of God reveals that there are certain requirements for greatness, three of which are prayers, praises, and worship. John 4.24 says, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Prayer is communication with God in line with his will. In praises, we thank God for what he has done, what he is doing, and what he is yet to do. In worship, we appreciate God for who he is. God expects all of creation to worship him. However, there are various categories of worshippers. One category of worshippers comprises those who, at one time or the other, received a blessing from God. Psalm 150 verse 6. No matter how little you think the goodness of the Lord in your life may be, it is imperative that you praise him. The next category of worshippers are the afflicted ones. These include the bereaved, the sorrowful, the disappointed, and the discouraged in our midst. A classic example is Job. Job was a man who worshipped God in prosperity. Job 1, 1 to 5. In the midst of satanic afflictions, Job 1, 15 to 2, 9, and at the point of his turnaround, Job 42, 1 to 6. The third category of worshippers are the vessels unto honor. 1 Timothy 2, 19-21 Vessels unto this honor are those used by the devil to change joy to sorrow. These are the agents of the devil. A vessel unto honor, however, is someone God can use anytime, anyway, and anywhere he wants to. Worship characterizes vessels unto honor. In addition, Vessels unto honor are chosen by God. John 15, 16. 
Such people are willing to be chosen and ready to live holy all the time. Are you a vessel unto honor? If yes, go ahead and give high praise to God. If not, repent and cry unto God for mercy. May the Lord make and keep you as a vessel unto honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer point. Father, please give me a grateful heart and the grace to praise and worship you always in Jesus' name. Bible reading in one year. Psalm 78 to 80. Him for today. Praise him. Praise him. Jesus, our blessed Redeemer. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.